What's going on guys, Andy here, Cut and Clean Lawn Care, and today I'm running the new GoPro Hero 8 with the media kit that Randy got me. Let me know what you guys think about this. Back to using the GoPro. So much simpler for the lawn care stuff because I can just clip it on stuff and go. But I'm going to try to do like a classic old school cut and clean vlog kind of thing today. My foot is still killing me. Whatever this plantar fasciitis thing is, the tendons or whatever the muscle group is that runs along the bottom of your foot. It's toast, man. So you're not going to be seeing much hard work out of me today. Luckily, there's not supposed to be any rain, I think, one day this week. So it should be a smooth rolling, easy coasting day. But let's get this stuff all loaded up and get ready for today's video. Also real quick, gonna talk about a little modification I did to the 800. You know it has this little waist strap that's supposed to go around you? I went ahead and just cut that because you can just take it off with four of the uh, steel bolts that are behind it. But I still wanted this little back padding, but the, the waist wrap was just always getting in the way. So I just cut it to leave that little back padding and now it's just kind of like a regular backpack blur. But we're gonna go ahead and grab the 800 and throw it on the trailer for today too. I'll tell you guys what too. I am so tired of loading and unloading my trailer so many times a day, man. Uh, I think a guy needs to get an enclosed trailer, man, but I think I'm going to need a bigger and beefier truck for an enclosed trailer. You're talking about a lot of extra late, a lot of extra weight, not extra late, that doesn't make any sense, a lot of extra weight, and I don't think that truck's really up for the task. And I just went ahead and switched this mic from the front to the back. I'm gonna see if it makes any difference for the audio. We got a little bit of wind going, but I'm just kind of testing out this new GoPro. But we're all loaded up. I got the 36, we got the 52. Like pretty much always, you guys know I did eliminate the push mower from my trailer because as a solo guy, I mean, it just wastes too much time. I have the Edger on top FC 91 94Rs, which are kind of starting to wear out. This is my second year of using these and they, you know, you take the guards off this stuff and they end up having issues and not lasting that long, but something I choose to do because I don't mind just buying new ones every other year or whatever like that. And we got the BR 800. And the other reason I always take two trimmers with me, is because I actually carry one in each hand while I'm on the properties, one in my right hand, one in the left hand. The way I look like your average lawn care superhero just running around doing work, that's not true at all, but it's kind of a cool idea. Don't forget about them Darwin's grips either. Yeah, guys, I'm back to procrastinating. Like I said, my foot hurts so bad. I would much rather be doing this. Got some revenge spinner baits. You don't even know. Got some chatter baits, the Project Z chatters. You don't even know. God, I'd much rather be fishing today. But that's real life. We got to work instead. I make time for fishing, though, that's for sure. And I will say, for just a little bit I've been recording this morning, this thing is already at 80% battery. So I hope these batteries last a little bit longer than this. I've got everything on a full charge, but we'll see. Uh, yeah, I may have to go to the gas station first thing this morning. Let's get stuff filled up. And then we'll see it, guys, at the first property and start mowing some lawns. Wednesday, 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 Thursday, Thursday. I just dream of fishing while I'm going through my work day. I listen to my boss, though he's driving me berserk. Eh? Damn it, I can't take much more because my brain is really hurting. And now the bank is always calling and I don't know what to do. And I haven't bought a crankbait since like 1992. But the bass are out there schooling and they're ready to attack. And I got all my favorite lures and they're loaded in my pack. All that stress that's in my body's always driving me insane when I'm really and that buzz bait, it just seems to go away Now you see fishing ain't a habit It's a passion in my souls When I'm casting and I'm smashing All these bass that are on my pole Now for a minute or an hour If I'm fishing then I'm fine I just only need a second When I'm wetting up a line So if the weather 
is super crappy or you might be stuck inside Search G4 Outdoors YouTube online But well, as I look up and I ask Can I please just catch a break? Got my rod and my reel And I'm headed to the lake So usually, I'm not a guy that's really afraid of snakes. I know snakes for the most part. I know what most snakes are around here and things like that. But uh, yeah, I'm mowing. I got six done so far. I had a neighbor at a property who was having some knee issues, asked me if I could come mow his property real quick. I'm like, for sure, dude, I'm right here. It'll be this much, I'll knock it out. He goes, you don't have trim, brother. If I'm doing a service and you're paying for it, I'm mowing, trimming, edge, and blowing, and gone, brother. It's all going to get done. It's going to look amazing. So I'm mowing around the edge of this property. I'm like, oh, this guy left his hose out. I go to get off my mower and reach for said hose. Said hose starts moving. It's a black snake, and it's probably a good six feet long. It's definitely the same length of me, and it's probably like the diameter of like a broomstick or something like that. A long big nasty snake it just starts slithering away i thought it was a hose Ugh. the only reason i was creeped out is because i was going to grab it and just move it nonchalantly and it just started to move it looked just like a hose like Ugh. But yeah, guys, we're going to keep it moving. Most likely, I will grab you and throw you up in this next backyard. I have to do with a 36. Really nice people. I should have somewhere to put the camera. If not, I may put it on the mower. Who knows? Uh, I'm thirsty, and I need a drink, so I got to get that going as well. But... <sighs>
what guys, you already know this, that 52 Pro Stance is 100% the workhorse in my company. But that 36 Pro Stance is definitely the backbone, man. That thing gets me so many properties with those small gates that I can fly in and out of using those two machines, man. And it makes me proactive. It makes me very, very proactive. Yeah, man, in our area in Kansas City, the 52 and 36 on your trailer, I think is just, it's the golden goose setup, man. You, you can't fail with that setup, man. You can pick up all these gated properties and not have a worry in the world. But yeah, guys, I'm gonna keep it moving. It's hot, it's nasty, I'm sweating, and my foot hurts so bad. So my focus is gonna be just getting work done. I really just wanted to get this new GoPro out and kind of see how it worked. Let me know about the audio. Obviously, I'll hear it whenever I'm in post editing this. Uh, yeah, the wind noise, all that stuff. I'm gonna get into all of it, man. I might even do a little review on this camera with the media setup. I do notice the battery is down to 18% for whatever cord, and it hasn't been a lot. So I don't know if the media kit on the GoPro Hero 8 makes the battery go down a little faster. The other thing that's kind of a downfall on the media kit on this, or the media mod, is it's no longer waterproof. So if you need a waterproof for your GoPro, don't use the media mod with it at all. So yeah, guys, like I said, not a lot going on in this video. Just wanted to get the camera out and test it. It's Monday, just trying to get work done. Foot hurts bad, like I said, it's hot and nasty. But uh, guys, like always, if you're new to the channel, you're watching this video for the first time and you haven't subscribed, please hit the subscribe button, man. It definitely helps me out in my journey. Hit the bell, get those notifications, hang out with me on some of these videos. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Like I said, new camera, just kind of testing things out, seeing what is up, doing a little bit of a mowing vlog. Not really, just mowing a couple properties. I'm not really feeling the whole recording thing. I just want to get stuff done, go home and ice my feet, if you know what I'm saying. And leave a comment down below if you have something to say, whatever that may be. Uh, usually if you comment quick, I have time to kind of respond to it, if not, you know, I got like 400 videos up on YouTube. It's very hard to keep up on comments through all of them. But like always, guys, you know I love you. And I mean that from the bottom of my heart, man. I'm not afraid to say it, man. All you guys serve a purpose in this world, whatever it is. And I appreciate every single one of you guys for spending some time out, hanging out with me today and watching whatever this video is going to end up to be, man. I definitely appreciate it. But like I just said, guys, like, comment, subscribe. I'm going to see you guys in the next one. I'm going to keep trucking, keep moving on, keep sweating. Keep listening to Jocko Podcast, giving me that motivation, and move on to the next day. We'll see you guys later.